Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, family, and thank you for coming to the channel. Thank you for coming on back over here at the house. Where we sit down and we just chew the fat. <clears throat> and we just make like, hey, we're the journalists out here, okay? We're the journalists. We're sitting up here evaluating people's lives and stuff of that nature. <clears throat> but Kelly's, Kelly's, uh uh, hell to the no, no, no. No, ma'am, no sort of lord. She's, mm mm, I need my reparations and I need them now, you know. Shout out to Kelly's because she just lost her husband, I think, sometime this year. Uh, the middle part, well, not the middle part, probably, hell, it could have been in January, but anyway, I think he was suffering from cancer or something, something to that degree or that illness, but, um, we give con her the condolences, but child, she done came out the woodwork, she done came out the forest, and she was in the, de the dense woods, and to tell you the truth, she's a chef, and she has her own piece of land out there in, or is it Arizona? It's some hot place. The desert. It might be Las Vegas shit. But anyway, she's very look uh we call it secluded. It's uh <clears throat> where you have to actually be coming to her. It's not like you can just she's off the side of the road or she's a, a subdivision or she's in a gated community. No, she has a whole land. <laughs> she has acres. And she has she she uh grows her own food. I mean, she's living, it kind of sits like she might be living off the grid. But, honey, she came out of them dense woods and said, hell to the no. That's my song. I don't know what Beyonce, Jay-Z, Pharrell, and Chad think they doing here. They going to have to cut me some ends. And I mean reparations, okay? So, she's speaking out. And that is so true because, you know, I remember when Tina Knowles was up there talking about <clears throat> Beyonce and she had worked so hard and, this and the third, but between Jay Z and Beyonce, they be taking a lot of artist stuff. You know what I'm saying? And they never get checked about it. And she kind of uh, seemingly eerie looks like Aaliyah. Don't y'all think? Because when I saw that, I had to do a double take. I said, damn, she kind of look like Aaliyah. But it's Khalees, pretty young lady. And Beyonce is a pretty young woman, too. And one thing we cannot do is have women at each other's throats. Okay, so I need Beyonce to be the, be the bigger person between Chad and Pharrell and pay her some money. Okay, and give her some song writing credits. It don't take that much, B. You got it. Now do it. Okay, but we had a story that uh, Complex had brought out. A lot of bloggers was on this because anything that's sensational that has Beyonce, Jay-Z name attached to it, you know people are going to have their ears to the ground. Okay, and I got ours for the, to the ground too, family. That's why I need you on over here to take in the conversations with me. But we go on, and like I said, it was uh, that where I'm getting my commentary from is from the Complex or Complex.com, C O M P L E X. All right, and a Joe Price wrote up the article about three hours ago. He titled it "Khalees Speaks Out About Being Sampled on Beyonce's Renaissance Album." Beyonce's song "Energy" from her impending album Renaissance features a sample of a Khalees track. But the latter has said she had no idea about it until the rest of the world did. That's what you do. They be doing this shit in the dark, but they don't they don't know that <clears throat> where there's darkness, they soon shall be lightness. So anything done in the dark will come to light. And that's when Killies came from the woods, the hillbilly uh type of community she had been uh loving. She had to come out, she had to come back to the city. And she had to put the floodlights on Beyonce. 
Say, look at here, baby. You, you taking somebody else's stuff. And you didn't ask me for permission. Okay, but going back to the article, <coughs> it said in a series of comments made by Kelly's cooking account on Instagram, Bounty and Fool, the singer shared her thoughts on her track, Get Along With You, showing up as a sample on Energy, produced by the Neptunes. The original appeared on her 2000 album, Kaleidoscope. <coughs> okay, my mind is blown too because the level of disrespect and utter ignorance of all three parties involving is astounding reads a comment from the bountiful and full handle on a fan page posting about the news i heard about this the same way everyone else did nothing is ever as it seems some of the people in this business where i get that video from guys that's from my old video but anyway moving on <coughs> um Okay, nothing, in, nothing is ever as it seems of the people in this business have no soul, uh, no uh, integrity, and they have everyone fooled. One fan commented, awesome, that's a collab the world really needs. Khalees replied, it's not a collab, it's death. In another response, she called the situation ridiculous. When a user wrote, I always felt like Beyonce really admired Khalees. The singer said, Admire is not the word, okay? Because she's solely hanging on that word, hanging on to that word as theft, okay? I mean, she wants to get, she wants some money from this situation. But anyway, going back to the article, it says, Khalees later took to her own Instagram account to address it all, writing, I just heard the record everyone is saying has my sample, but it's beyond this song at this point. Khalees continue, and in the second post capsule, this was a trigger for me. Milkshake alone is one of the most licensed records of our generation. And y'all know y'all remember. If y'all don't, honey, it's like, my milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. My milkshake is better than yours. I, I, will I have to charge? Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, y'all remember that. Just uh, Google or get on the YouTube um what do you call it? Get on the YouTube page. Type in Khalees and Milkshake. And you, you'll see. She's like in a ice cream parlor cafe type setting. And um, kind of like a 50s type. Uh, move, not a movement. But a, 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 um, what do you call it? For lack of a better word. I guess I could say. Uh, the inspiration for the video. Was like back in the 50s setting. If you want to. Uh, take an example from Happy Days, you know, with the funds. That's the kind of uh, atmosphere, environment, or the setting they were going for when they were making her video for uh, the milkshake. Okay, or milkshake song. Okay, but anyway, going back, it says, uh, I am a creator. I'm an innovator. I have done more than left my mark on an era of music and style that would go down in history. But, there's our, but there are bullies. And secrets and gangsters in this in industry that smile and get away with it until someone says enough is enough. Enough is enough is enough. I can't go on. I can't go on no more now. Okay. I just had to get that song out. I don't know who sang that song. Was it Donna Summer? Okay. But anyway. <coughs> she goes on and say enough is enough. So I'm saying it today. I'm coming for what's mine, and I want reparations. I said, Clara, come on out the woods if you may. Come on out there farm, agri agricultural life that you're living over there in Las Vegas, Nevada, or with Arizona, I said. And to come on out and shake some people up. Because, yes, if it was yours, they need to say it was yours. Give you songwriting credits. Give you some royalties. We can't just be out here stealing shit from people. And it got so hard out here too. Child. But anyway, yes, honey, Khalees is cutting up. She ain't got no husband no more. She's feeling a uh, gangster right about now. And I'm like, girl, come on. Go on and get your shit. If that was your shit, go on and get your shit, girl. Go on and get it. Because the only thing Beyonce and Jay-Z need to do is just go on and pay her. They got the money. They got the money and the time. Just like they ain't featuring Big Frida over there. They keep using her likeness and all of that. 
But they ain't, they, ain't, they ain't doing right about them royalties either. But y'all, that's all I got on Pretty Khalees. Going out for Pretty Beyonce. Hopefully, cooler heads will prevail. And technically, the really the two people you need to be getting on Khalees. Even though you probably made um, uh, um, what do you call one of them 360 deals back in the day. Because I think you was like 18, 19 when you signed with the Neptunes to, to do albums or, you know, or a single. I, I'm not really sure. But uh, you need to get them jokers right now. Chad and Pharrell. Because, I mean, Pharrell looking all sleepy-eyed. And, and, and Chad looking like, you know, he done stole the canary and wants you to find it. But it just is what it is. I mean, don't, don't be doing women like that. If y'all done used the sample and, and took the stuff, pay that girl her money. Pay her, pay that girl her money. I'm pretty sure you do her wrong, ain't nothing going to come to you right until you do her right. Do right by y'all. Do right by her. And um, my loved ones, my loved ones, my family, y'all get down in them comments. Y'all tell me what y'all think the situation should uh, have a revolution, have a We'll have a resolution to what you think um, Khalees should do. Should she be suing all three parties, me and Beyonce, Chad, and Pharrell? And if you have to throw Jay-Z in there for extra, you know, credit, throw his name in there too. Because what I hear from him, he ain't doing them but taking folks stuff too, okay? And like I said, Beyonce mama came out and said that she was working real hard uh, for this album. She was staying up. You know, midnights, hours, you no, know, just toiling, just toiling, trying to get this album to completion and to how she feels it need to be before she releases it. And what she was over there doing, taking other people's stuff and trying to camouflage it. Come on, Tina, I know you taught me all say better than that. But anyway, y'all, y'all let me let me know what y'all need to. Uh, well, no, what I'm trying to say, I'm getting sleepy, so I'm about to cut this. I got to do one more video, then I'm gonna cut it short. But what do y'all think the situation should be? Uh, prevail as should they all be on the side of giving Khalees her reparations and all the what we call a hoopla for making such a song and it's coming back alive because um, <clears throat> Beyonce done breathe new life into it okay I'm pretty sure she's gonna put her own spin on it um or should she just go on into the sunset going back into them dense woods she was in and uh, continue cooking because she's a chef now if you didn't know, um, she needs to stay over there in the country in the deep woods and, and continue to do her uh, holistic type of living and being. Or she, she you know, or like I said, should they give her the money that she needs to have? Because like I said, she lost her husband, I think it was this year, of cancer. But that's all I got. I ain't got no more. And I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.